السلام علیکم آئی ایم عابدا اینڈ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیچ یو اینالیٹیکل کیمسٹری ون کیم فور زیرو ٹو دس کورس از فار دا اسٹوڈنٹس آف بی ایس کیمسٹری فور سیمسٹر سیشن ٹو تھاؤزینڈ ایٹین ٹو ٹوینٹی ٹو دا ٹاپک in other disciplines of science. So what analytical chemistry is? Analytical chemistry is concerned with the chemical characterization of matter and the answer to two important questions. What is it? Which we will deal in qualitative analysis and how much is it? Which is concerned with quantitative analysis. So what we will do in analytical chemistry, we will take a substance or compound and we will uh, analyze it in two ways, qualitatively that uh, which elements are present in that substance or compound and uh, how much is it uh, uh, that what is the quantity of elements in that compound. Analytical chemistry is very important in different disciplines. It is of utmost important importance in agricultural. Uh, it has find its uh, value in clinical analysis, environmental chemistry. It is very important for the point of view of forensic analysis, for the manufacturing of different goods for metallurgical uh, processes, for example, in order to uh, determine and then to specify the quantity of iron in steel. And it is also important, very much actually important in pharmaceutical chemistry. Analytical chemistry uh, find its application in food Uh, as well as in uh, pesticides, uh, in biological analysis like for uh, the monitoring of blood glucose level in diabetic persons uh, and it also has important uh, importance in forensic analysis. So food must be analyzed for contaminants, uh, example given pesticide residues and for essential uh, nutrients, example given vitamin contents. So food, it may have contaminants uh, like pesticide residues and important uh, components like vitamin. So uh, both these uh, contents, they can be determined by means of the methods of analytical chemistry. Likewise, the air we breathe must be analyzed for toxic gases, for example, even carbon monoxide and analytical chemistry can provide the methods uh, in order to determine the amount of these toxic methods. Uh, blood glucose uh, must be monitored in diabetic and in fact, most diseases are diagnosed by chemical analysis. So analytical chemistry Uh, plays a vital role in the determination of uh, different uh, diseases. The presence of trace elements uh, from gunpowder on a perpetrator's hand will prove a gun was fired by that hand. So this is the aspect of forensic analysis which can be performed by means of analytical chemistry. So by means of analytical methods, uh, sample will be taken from the hand of the guilty and this sample uh, will be analyzed uh, by analytical methods and if uh, a person has fired a gun then uh, even a small amount of the gunpowder can be detected by means of analytical analysis and this will help in the identification of the guilty person. The quality of manufactured products often depends on uh, proper chemical proportion and measurement of the constituents is a necessary part of quality assurance. So analytical chemistry 
कैन प्रूव इट सेल्फ टू मेंटेन क्वालिटी अश्योरेंस फर्स्ट वी विल डिटर्मिन द एलिमेंट्स प्रेजेंट एंड सेकेंडली वी कैन मेंटेन द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ दीज एलिमेंट्स इन अ सैम्पल Uh, and this will play a vital role in the maintenance of quality assurance the carbon content of steel will influence its quality uh, so as i have uh, um, mentioned in the previous slide that analytical chemistry is important in metallurgical processes so by mean of uh, analytical process we can not only determine the carbon content present in steel Uh, but also we can maintain it in this way uh, we can produce a uh, different uh, samples of steel uh, containing same composition of carbon uh, so this is all because of analytical uh, chemistry methods the purity of drugs will influence their efficacy um, analytical chemistry is of uh, a vital importance in pharmaceutical chemistry uh, by means of uh, analytical analysis we can determine the constituents of the uh, uh, tablets and then we can also uh, measure uh, their quantity so we can not only maintain the constituents but also maintaining their quantity uh, we can produce different batches of drugs uh, of tablets having uh, same uh, chemical constituents of the uh, as well as uh, same quantity now we will move ahead from analytical chemistry towards analytical sciences uh, the discussion um, which we have done for analytical chemistry this provides an overview of the discipline of analytical chemistry there have been various attempts to more uh, specifically define the discipline the late charles and rale said analytical chemistry is what analytical chemists do so this is a, a, a the most simplistic definition that analytical chemistry is the science what analytical chemist do then the discipline has expanded beyond the bounds of just chemistry and many have advocated using uh, the same analytical uh, uh, sorry the name analytical science to describe the field this term is used in national science foundation report uh, from workshops on curricular development in analytical sciences even this term falls short of recognition of the rule of instrumentation development and application and one suggestion is that we use the term analytical science and technology so what scientists uh, have done uh, they have uh, broadened the scope of analytical chemistry to analytical science because analytical uh, analytically um, we are not only restricted to the chemical substances but uh, it has uh, found uh, its importance for example in agriculture as well as in forensic sciences so uh, scientist uh, was of the view that we should not restrict analytical uh, uh, chemistry we should not only restrict it to analytical chemistry but Uh, should use the word analytical science so it can cover the uh, um, um, broader aspect so they have used the word analytical science although this word analytical science it cannot cover the techniques uh, or instrument in, instruments which we use for the measurement of uh, for the uh, for the identification and measurement of the elements present in a compound so the more accurate uh, term they suggest uh, was analytical science and technology so what is analytical science the federation of european chemical societies held a contest in 1992 to define analytical chemistry and the following suggestion by k kamen was selected analytical chemistry provides the methods and tools needed for insight into our material world so what analytical chemistry will do it will provides the methods and tools needed for insight into our material world by means of material world we mean 
uh, the chemical substances and the compounds we want to investigate and we will use different methods and tools for the investigation of these uh, chemicals or compounds uh, and it will answer four basic question what that is what type of uh, elements are present within a compound where from where uh, these elements are extracted or this compound is extracted how much what is the uh, quantity of elements present in this specific compound and uh, and then um, in more advanced work we can determine the arrangements of atoms uh, present uh, in a compound and then we can also deduce its structure or in uh, what uh, what is the formation of uh, this compound so these two what and where these are uh, associated with uh, qualitative analysis and how much and what arrangement structure or form these two terms uh, they are related to quantitative analysis so these four aspects they cover qualitative spatial quantitative and speciation aspects of qualitative science the division of analytical chemistry of the uh, american chemical society developed a definition of analytical chemistry which is analytical chemist chemistry seeks ever improved means of measuring the chemical composition of natural and artificial materials so what analytical chemistry do it seeks ever improved means of measuring the chemical composition of natural and artificial materials so whether the products whether the uh, compounds to be investigated these are natural or artificial what analytical uh, chemistry will do uh, it will try uh, to see or improve means of measuring means of measuring their chemical composition the techniques of uh, this science are used to identify the substances which may be present in a material again um, it, uh, that is it will cover the qualitative uh, aspect and to determine the exact amount of the identified substance uh, again um, that it will cover the quantitative aspect analytical chemists serve the needs of many fields for example in medicine analytical chemistry is the basis for clinical laboratory tests which help physicians diagnose disease and change progress in recovery in industry analytical chemistry provides the means of testing raw materials and for assuring the quality of finished products whose chemical composition is critical many household products fuels paints pharmaceutical etc are analyzed by the procedures developed by the analytical chemistry before being sold to the consumer so in uh, order to enhance uh, uh, your study on analytical chemistry articles you may study or uh, the interesting article which is published by a leading analytical chemist G E F Londen from the National Bureau of Standards in 1935 the topic of the um, um, uh, title was uh, the topic of this uh, uh, article was the analysis of things as they are and it describes why we do analysis and the chemical processes it is published in the journal industrial and engineering chemistry analytical edition and another important paper um, uh, emphasizing the importance of analytical chemistry uh, uh, is a brief overview of the importance of analytical chemistry in society with examples that affect our lives and the tools and capabilities uh, and this is given in the article what analytical chemists do a personal perspective this is uh, written by jerry christian and it is published in chiang mai journal of science 
so this is all about of uh, for the two days lecture and in the le in the next next lecture we will see in detail about qualitative and quantitative analysis thank you very much and allah hafiz